Bang, bang, bang. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news source on YouTube. Now, look, 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 look. Warning. You're about to hear excessive cursing. Shit, fuck, damn. You're about to see excessive drinking. Oh, and tonight I'm going to drink nice. And look, look, look. If you don't like the tobacco use, run now. Run now. Look, look, look. I'm giving you three seconds because here I come. Three, two, one. Bang! Here's Shamari, <laughs> the boogeyman of crypto in my dark lair. <laughs> yes, brothers. Bang! I love you, brothers. Oh, obviously you can see I'm having a good night tonight. Oh, and all you sons of bitches are going to have a good night when I'm finished with you. When I'm finished with your bitch ass tonight. Wow! You guys are going to be happy as motherfuckers. Look, 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 look. Bang! We got three stories tonight. All right. Let me calm the fuck. Luck, luck, luck. Brothers, you know, uh, as we watch this whole thing develop, you know, <laughs> some days are better than others. Yesterday, kind of a boring day, right? Hey, guys. My name's Shmori. I'm here to tell you about the news of the day. All right, it's a little boring. I don't know. I don't even remember how long it was. It was like short. It was like, all right, let me get the fuck out of here. Oh, brothers, today, though. Today. Oh, my gosh. I could slaughter you. I can slaughter you with so much money talk. <laughs> so much stuff. And I'm about to do that. Right, we'll see. If this rocket fuel goes, I might go a little bit more. Look, look, let's just start with the, uh, bang, let's just start, look, 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 let me tell you. So, bang, bang. Now, remember how important it is. What does the SEC complain about? What are these politicians complaining about? Oh, money laundering. Oh, terrorist financing. I remember we read about, um, who the fuck was it? Was it backed? I think it was backed. It might have been backed or Gemini, but they're going to use the anti-money laundering tool. Bang! We're going to talk about that anti-money laundering tool. Because look, look, if these boys implement that, then there's no excuse to turn down an ETF or uh, futures or any fund or anything that these guys want to make for us to bring in this big institutional money. Now, this is the big juice for all of you guys tonight. Are you a Ripple lover? I see you holding your hands up like... Are you a ripple lover? Yes, Shamari. I said, are you a ripple lover? Yes, Shamari. Oh, 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 ripple lovers. Oh, I'm going to make you chance for joy tonight. Look, look, look. Oh, ripple makes a major move. Bang, bang. And then I have a bunch of questions with it, though. Bang, 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 bang. So we're going to read this. Is ripple back with R3? Now, you know me. The only reason I bought those motherfucking ripples was because they were with R3 Consortium. That's it. I don't give a fuck if you're with this bank there, that bank there. If you're with a consortium of banks, well, that's what'll get me to buy. And that's the question. Are they? We'll find out. Maybe. All right. And just for you to know, oh, fuck it. I'll bring it up when I talk about the story. Bang, ripple. So not just Asia. But here comes Ripple for the Middle East, and yo, yo, yo. Remember this, the Middle East, those are mostly dictators. So if those dictators say, yo, we're down with your shit. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Sometimes you don't have to say much. You just give a couple bang, 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 bangs. You feel that. You feel that. All right. And now Morgan Stanley... And because I love to talk about the bang, bang, bang. Yo, oh, let's look at the tsunami coming. Oh, here it comes, brothers. Bang! Shit, this is coming big. Guys, I have so many fucking stories I could tell you today. So many. I, I, I'm going to even just read some titles. These are stories we are not going to read, okay? Electronium adoption. Bang! Oh, well, this was a bad one. <laughs> Oyster Protocol got smacked and sucked dry. 
So that oyster thing didn't work out. <laughs> Bang. What else do I got? What else do I got? What's this other one? Oh, Uganda and Africa with Binance. I told you about Africa. I told you what's going on there. The Chinese aren't playing games. Look, look. If you're in Africa, you have a cow and a goat. You got to walk five miles to go get some water in some places. Yeah, but you don't. You, you know what you do have, though? You may not have water. Bang, the Chinese, you got 4G internet, son, with all manner of apps. Payment apps. Bap, bap, bap. Yeah. The, the, the Africans may not be able to get water, but they can pay for everything. Boop, 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 boop. Mobile. <clears throat> remember that story we read? Don't worry. We're going to get to the stories, guys. But remember the story we read about that New York Times reporter lady? She tried to live in China for one week on cash, and people were looking at her like she was insane? Yeah, that's what China is doing to the Africans now. Fuck your cash. We're just gonna we're just gonna digitize you motherfuckers right now. Because it's true, they don't have no infrastructure. They have no infrastructure in, in Africa. I mean they have infrastructure, but you know what I'm saying, compared to us in the first world. So China's like, well, we'll just build you the stuff now. And well, you only get the newest stuff because that's the stuff that's here to be built. So they just get 4G networks. Like, dude, you don't get it. I'm talking a lady with her bare feet. With a goat. And she has 4G, man, getting money from her son who lives in the city. We're going to talk. Uh, well, we're not going to talk about that today. But, man, I want to show you guys so much about, like, what's happening. I told you guys, man, mass adoption. Look, look, look. You can fuck all that in the first world. We're not going to mass adopt shit. This is going to be stores of value. No one's going to be buying their fucking Starbucks with Ripple unless you are an idiot. No offense, <laughs> but why would you pay $5 in Bitcoin for a Starbucks? That $5 worth probably be 50 bucks in a year. But look, 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 I will tell you what is happening. Bang, the third world is getting sewn up. I told you guys, I told you guys, third world is getting sewn up. All right, all right, let's get to the stories. Fuck, let me get some CEOs talking to you and stuff. Prove what I'm saying, man. You know what I mean? Shamari tells it to you and then bang, a few months later. You know, some CEOs finally figure it out, and then they tell you. And so that's how I get to do it. I get to get the CEO to tell you. So bang, let's go to what we normally do. Bang, and we go bang, and then we go bang. Whoa, what's happening here? Are we going to get some bang? All right, let's 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 refresh it. <laughs> bang. There we go. There we go, boys. All right. All right. Let's check this out. Let's check this shit out. Man, I had so many money fucking stories for you guys today. <laughs> oh my gosh. BlackRock. Remember I told you about BlackRock? $5.2 trillion under management? They said, look, look, look. We're not building an ETF now. We have to wait for the regulations. You know how it is, boys. We've been talking about it. If you're new here, well, come on, brothers. But you've been here, you know. We're waiting for the legislators, politicians, and the regulators. SEC, FINRA, CFTC, blah, blah, blah. Here in America, and then you all have your, wherever country you're in, you know, you've got your own regulators to deal with and your own politicians to deal with, right? <sighs> and so BlackRock... Today, BlackRock, $5.2 trillion under management. Remember that, boys. The BlackRock CEO, I think his name's something Fink. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're not going to get into the crypto world now. But once it is fully regulated and everything, you best believe, yo, $5.2 trillion, buddy. I mean, they're not going to unleash the whole 5.2, but... All right, guys, let's just do how we normally do. Bang, top 10 of the day, our usual suspects. Bang, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Yield, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Tether, and Monero. Boom. Now, what do we got? Single digits down to single digits up. Low single digits down to low single digits up. Low single digits. Oh, oh, there's some mid-single. All right, so mid-single digits down to mid-single digits up. Mid-single digits down to mid-single digits up. And mid single digits down to mid single digits up. All right, now let's look at our 
top 10 losers of the day. This is what's on sale today, boys. Bang! Digitex Futures, Denticoin, Veritasium, Loom Network, Kosh, Mobile Go, Horizon, Banker, Day, and Chainlink. Now, let's see if your holdings rose. Bang! Top 10 of the day. Ravencoin, Redcoin, Basic Attention, Zilliqa, Neo, Komodo, Wax, Polymath, Stratus. My brothers at Stratus. <laughs> With the whole 2% up. Nice. Ontology. <laughs> All right. What was I reading about ontology today? Anyway, I don't remember. Fuck it. Let's go. Look, look, look. Oh, we're down in market cap, actually. So yesterday, wasn't it 208? Or do we call it 209? Bang. Oh, and we're down in volume again. Blah, blah, guys. We read about the OTC shit. Look, look, look. Don't worry about, look, don't worry about fucking prices of anything right now. I mean, yeah, yeah, I show you guys this stuff because I know that's what you're interested in. But look, man, that, all this shit doesn't matter until bang, until the institutional investors get here. What the prices are now are not even close to what they're going to be when these boys start pouring in. I do this for the fun of it. The the top 10, top down, top this, top that to show you. But look, man, well, it's not for fun, actually. We are looking at stuff, but bang. Our money is going to be here later. What about the Ripple story? Don't worry, brothers. The Ripple story is coming next. And bang, bang, but fucking bang. You guys are going to shit your pants. You're going to be all like, fuck Shabari. No, you didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, the way you guys are so passionate. I told you I was selling those Ripples. And I have a story for you. And I was talking with Desert Garden. And I'm not going to lie to you. Once I sold those Ripples, I'm not going to say I regretted it. But I'm going to say this. Is <laughs> it occurred to me something new is happening or is possible to happen and i'm going to tell you about that i'm going to tell you about that and i was talking with mark garden and cousin uh shit can't remember your name brother but cousin something on the on the comments too brother and uh yeah but let's get on to the news and then let's get to ripple so nasdaq as crypto market manipulate all right use case for market surveillance tool now remember this what have the politicians been saying right they're like oh you know, the money laundering, oh, the terrorist financing and blah, 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 right? And then I believe it was Gemini, didn't they? Or backed, I can't remember. One of them said they're going to use chain analysis. So chain analysis is a tool used by major stock exchanges that analyze every transaction. And they can tell when guys are, you know, pumping and dumping, when guys are... Uh, what other kind of trades are there? Anyway, doing sneaky shit, right? And uh, that's what the SEC was complaining about, right? Market manipulation and stuff like that. And so with these tools, it stops market manipulation because once the tool sees it, bang, it'll freeze an account. And then the account holder has to explain, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't know. I've obviously never had an account frozen like that. I'm not rich enough to manipulate a market, but anyways, you get in trouble if you, you're caught, right? So, and that's what the SEC and these guys have been, the politicians have been talking about. Oh, market manipulation, blah, blah, blah. So let's check it out. The world's second largest stock exchange, NASDAQ, says its market surveillance technology can be can stamp out manipulation in the cryptocurrency markets. Bloomberg reported November 1st. Exactly. NASDAQ is like, yo, 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 government, don't worry. Bang, bang, bang. Let them use this, what we use. Right? The NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, yeah, they have all that shit, right? That's why they're able to do what they do. NASDAQ is like, look, look, look. This will work for cryptocurrency. Oh, that is such good news. Because that's what we need. Fuck. That's what we need, man. So the publication referenced... An unpublished paper from NASDAQ released Thursday in which it explains it was invested, it has invested decades developing tools for catching and preventing market manipulation. They've been doing this for years, decades. Regulators, brokers, and exchanges have surveillance teams that monitor activity constantly and advance technologies to help capture and analyze abusive behaviors, including pump and dump schemes, insider trading, wash trading, as well as spoofing and layering its states. Yo, those are all the tricks of the trades. Actually, I only knew about the pump and dump <laughs> and the insider stuff. Those other names are new to me, but bang, bang, bang. 
That's what the technology does. And so once these, uh, once these, uh, uh, so what I'm going to say to you, this is my speculation. This isn't news. This is what I think. Being an 18-year market man, these crypto companies are just going to backed Genesis, Coinbase, any anyone that wants to come out here in America, exchange that wants to come out in America. They're going to be like, yeah, we're going to use that technology right there. Now, what does the SEC have to say? The SEC can't deny you based on the anti-money laundering, the the market manipulation and stuff, if you're using the same software that they allow NASDAQ to use, right? If, if I'm a Binance or whoever, let's say Genesis, because that's American, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to use that. You can't now tell me, no, we're not going to let you use it, or sorry, we're not going to let you have an ETF because you don't have the right tools. You can be like, what the fuck are you talking about? I got the same tools that the NASDAQ and the, and the New York Stock Exchange use. Guys, here comes our money. <laughs> here comes your money. Bang! So, the move comes. Hold on. Look, 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 look. The move comes as Bitcoin, Bitcoin's newfound stability temporarily takes emphasis off the idea that its markets were subject to foul play. As Cointelegraph previously reported, some commentators, including a U.S. regulator, had ascribed volatility early this year to large volume traders. NASDAQ saw the first cryptocurrency client for its smart market surveillance solution come in April in the form. Oh, it was Gemini. Exactly. Gemini's like, yo, 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 SEC. We're using smarts now. That's the NASDAQ tool. <laughs> We're using the NASDAQ tool. We're not even going to get code monkeys to make us our own. We're going to use the shit that you have already approved. Smarts is approved. There's a thing called the NASDAQ, right? You can trade on it every day, right? You know why? Because smarts, well, and custodianship. But smarts and custodianship, bang, bang, allows you to release that money. So... Uh, bang, Gemini took this in April. Uh, the cryptocurrency exchange operated by the Winklevoss twins. At the time, Valerie Banner, Thurner, senior vice president and head of risk and surveillance solutions at NASDAQ, described the partnership as a major milestone for the technology. In addition, she said, it represented an important indicator of our commitment to expand the use of our market technology into non-traditional marketplaces, which is good as well as new frontiers beyond the capital markets. Exactly. SEC can't complain anymore. Various non-crypto exchanges also use smarts, as Bloomberg notes. Exactly. Many of the traditional financial exchanges already use smarts, and their regulators are all fine with it. They're like, oh, you got smarts? Fine. We'll let you do what you want. Bang, you see the Winklevoss brothers right here? What are they, what are they talking about? Where are, they, where are these brothers at? Bang, the Winklevoss twins, I guess they're not just brothers, they're twins. Luck, luck, luck. You see Gemini, right? Using smarts. Look, I'm using smarts. Uh, how can you deny my ETF now? Here comes the money, brothers. Here comes the money now. Man, I got a juicy one. I'm even going to sip before I even show you. Before I even let you marinate on that title. <laughs> <laughs> All your ripple lovers. I'm going to tell you right now, I find it, it's funny. I told you guys, you guys are kind of like a cult. Not ripple lovers, but all you little tokens have your little cults behind them. Well, all the little tokens have cults behind them, <laughs> in a way. Like, you ripple lovers. Shamari, don't sell your ripple, brother. No. It's partnered with this. It's partnered with that. It's going to do. <laughs> Damn, dude. You're acting like I'm jumping off the Brooklyn Bridge or something. <laughs> I ain't killing myself. Relax. But look, brothers, I love you guys. And that's why we're going to rock a story like this. That's going to make you happy like this. That'll bring you the joy like this. Bang! Oh, yes. There you go, brothers. Oh, my ripple brother lovers. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. And let's go again. Bang, bang, bang. All you little Ripple lovers always talk to me about SBI, SBI, this little bank. Well, it's a major bank, but in Japan, right? I don't give a fuck about that. I'm a R3. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about here, bro? What are we talking about here, brother? Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. That's the only reason I got into Ripple in the first place. 
when I heard they were with R3 Consortium, now, now, now. Woo! Let's take a breath. Let me have a drink. You guys read that shit. Oh, you Ripple lovers, you read that. Bang! <laughs> Yo, Ripple lovers. Oh, I can just imagine what you're doing in your house right now. Yeah! Yeah, motherfucker, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> They're probably jumping around, bringing their wife over. Look, sweetie, look. Yeah! High five me, girl. Bang! <laughs> yes, it's fun tonight, isn't it? It's fun tonight, isn't it, brothers? Bang, bang, bang. But Shamari is going to tell you the truth. Bang, bang, bang. Yes, brothers. Yes, brothers. Shamari's going to tell you the truth, but bang, bang, bang. This is good, 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 good news for Ripple. And you see what it says? To use. What are they going to use? Wait, 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 hold on. Let me say it properly. What are they going to use? Bang! Bang! And motherfucking... Whoop, whoop. Where's my motherfucking... Hold on. Bang! You see? <laughs> yes, brothers. All you Ripple lovers, here we go. Man, here you go, brothers. Here's a good time tonight. Bang, bang, but bang, bang, but bang, 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 bang. Ha, ha, ha. R3. And I told you I was talking to Desert Garden and Cousin. What the hell is this guy Cousin's name? Where is he? I was talking to Desert Garden. And I was talking to Cousin. Where is this guy? Fuck, I think it's on another page. Shit. Anyway, Cousin Brother. Bang, I know about you. I remember you. Oh, Cousin David. Bang, there it is. Now, look, look, look. So I'm going to read the story first, and I'm going to tell you why. Look, 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 look. Ripple might be way better off than I, well, let me calm the fuck down when I say that. Your holdings in Ripple will not be in vain. How much? I don't know. If they're with R3, it'll be a whole other story. But look, 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 let's just get into the story. So, at the SBI Financials Results Briefing, SBI Group CEO Yoshitaka Kitao announced that the firm has already begun the discussion to create. Now, it's just a discussion, so don't get hyped. Discussion, <laughs> okay? To create a project for R3 that uses Ripple more extensively. It's a discussion. I'm going to keep you abreast of the discussion. So don't, that's why I said I'm going to have to break your heart a little bit. But discussions are good. Discussions are good. We have already begun discussions to create a project to use XRP for R3. Now, this is the question I want to know. Right? Like, remember we read last week R3, and we already read it from a couple months ago about the, uh, the R3 Ripple um, court case that happened. Bang, bang, bang. So what was the result? We read the result last week. The R3 guy said, look, look, look. R3 and Ripple Labs and Ripple blah, blah, blah. LLC, LLC this, LLC that. We have decided to put our, what did they say? Like, you know, put the past behind us or whatever. Fine, fine. And not fight each other. So good. It means you're not taking each other to court. But does that mean, and here's the question for you Ripple lovers. Bang, bang, bang. And if you guys find out the answer... Put it in the comments, and I'll find me out the answer. I want to know, are they back with R3? Or are they just sort of on the peripheral talking to... Remember, R3 Consortium. So what R3 Consortium is, is not almost a bunch of the world's biggest banks are part of it. And um, Ripple was a part of it, and then... I don't know, they got booted out because they didn't deliver the 5 billion tokens they were supposed to deliver. They said we didn't deliver them because R3 didn't let us into the banks. You see, and that's the other thing. R3 is kind of a bully, right? It's run by IBM. IBM doesn't have to give some little shitty little thing called Ripple any access to these banks. Do you see what I'm saying? And so the question really is, is R3 back with ripple like as a partner 
or are they like, yeah, yeah, we'll let you do peripheral stuff? Because remember, R3 said that they're going to use Stellar for the platform now. Bang, right? We we watched that video the other day. But then the, the, the guy said, yeah, we're going to have Stellar as the platform. And this goes into what I'm about to talk to you about right now. Stellar is going to be the platform, but you can use Ripple on the Stellar network. You can use whatever token you want on the Stellar network. The banks are allowed to use whatever they want to send money to each other. That's going to be up to the banks, IBM said. They don't care. They're going to use Stellar, though. <laughs> That's why you better buy some fucking Stellar bitches because they're going to be the platform of sending money around the world. They want to be the actual protocol. That's a whole other deeper thing. Okay, but let's get back to the XRP thing. Oh, okay, so, right? Is XRP, is a Ripple back with R3? Anyways, listen to this. Dang, dang, dang. We have already begun discussions to create a project to use. Use. And this is what I care about. I don't give a shit. And I know, and I'm going to talk about something, and it's going to be a little contradictory what I say. All right, I want to see people using XRP for R3. By using R3, XRP is used most extensively. SBI Group is one of the largest multi-billion dollar financial institutions. Where? Only in Japan. And that's what I want to tell you guys. You guys are all freaking about this SBI shit. Yeah, they're a Japanese bank. They don't have branches everywhere in the world, motherfuckers. That's shit all. One country? Japan? What do they have? <laughs> what? Nine... Nine, 10 million citizens? I don't know, maybe up to 20. So this ain't fuck all in comparison to when when uh, Ripple was part of R3. They had access to Santander, Global Bank, branches in every major fucking city on Earth, American Express, <laughs> Global Payment System, just everywhere on Earth, Bank of America, uh, Bank of America is everywhere on earth as well, right? And those are the kinds. So for me, Shamari, man, don't sell your Ripple, don't sell your Ripple, don't sell your Ripple. Look, 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 guys. If I hear that Santander, Bank of America, because they're all, oh, and the reason I mention these banks is because they're using uh, Ripple's uh, suite. They're using X Current and XVIA right now. If I hear American Express, Bank of America or Santander tell me that they're going to use X Rapid. <laughs> well, I'll be back in. And there's another thing I have to tell you guys about. So let's read on and then we're going to get into a discussion that I had, like I said, with Desert Garden and Cousin David. SBI Group is one of the largest multi financial institutes in Japan to, that operate with three core businesses in asset management biotech, and financial services. Uh, since the creation of SBI Ripple Asia, a consortium of more than 60 Japanese bank, SBI Group has led the development and deployment of XRP-based products in Asia. Bang, YR3. Well, in May 2003, sorry, 2017, where did I get three from? SBI Group led a $105 million funding round for R3 CEV, the largest blockchain consortium in the history of the industry that raised hundreds of millions of dollars to develop enterprise-grade blockchain networks. Since then, throughout the past year, SBI Group has worked with R3 to create a variety of blockchain-based systems to be utilized by large-scale conglomerates. In April of this year, SBI Bank LLC, a major bank in Russia operated by SBI Group, joined the R3 blockchain consortium to cooperate with hundreds of financial institutions within the consortia in testing blockchain products. So it's all just being tested it, with the SBI guys, the R3 guys who are moving forward. Uh, we regard blockchains as the core of fintech innovation and are working on various measures both in Japan and abroad. Through this effort, we believe that we can contribute to the progress of the global blockchain field, SBI Group said at that time. Bang! According to local analysts that have covered the SBI financial results briefing, the Japanese firm has not released any additional details regarding the integration of XRP in the new projects in the bank is currently developing. So, I mean, and that's the sad part, right? SBI has not released any additional details. Look, look, this is just a test. It's like a little test thing, but I'm going to tell you why it's good. I'm going to tell you why it is good. And actually, let me write that down just to remember to tell you guys why this is a good thing for Ripple. 
Um, yeah. One second, one second, guys. I just want to remember that. I got to read this, but then I got to tell you something. All right. World adoption, bitches. Hold on, hold on. Smart, you're getting hyper. Hey, settle down, brothers. Lock, lock. Oh, Garling House stated that the company intends to bring a dozen of major banks onto its blockchain network. Are they going to use XRP? It's been an incredible two out in 18 for us. We're now signing up a bunch of banks, blah, 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 blah. Oh, but they got the largest bank in Kuwait. And they are also moving across. Uh, all right, all right. Let's just read this. It's been an incredible 2018 for us. We're now going up one bank to a production contract per week. We announced that we signed the largest bank in Kuwait, the National Bank of Kuwait. So it, Ripple, continues to build momentum and the dynamic. There is the network effect. The more participants, the more value in joining. So we're seeing that momentum build. Now, this is what I want to talk about. I had a talk last night with Market Garden. And look, 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 look. Hold on. Let's go back here first. And let me say a few things first about this Ripple thing. So, okay, so I want you to understand that Ripple is with financial giant FBI. Yeah, they're just a finan they're just a Japanese financial giant. They're not fuck all. Do you have an SBI fucking branch in your town? <laughs> that ain't shit. All right. So, and I know all of you guys kept talking SBI to me, SBI. All right, Japanese banks, so what? Ripple Labs, the company Ripple Labs, has, like I said, Santander, Bank of America, all right? American Express uses X Current, all three of those. So what we're going to see is, all right, so let me say it this way. What I want to see is one of those three adopt X Rapid. If they don't adopt X Rapid, one assessment is that, well, Ripple is going to be worthless. XRPs are going to be worthless. Now, I'm going to say something that is going to be a little different. But, <clears throat> sorry guys. I, I got to have my notes for this one because I actually wrote some stuff down to actually tell you. And um, uh, where were we? So, don't get it twisted. Right? When Bank of America, American Express or Santander says we're using X Rapid. Well, now we're talking. Now we're talking global. Fortune 500. Do you know what the word Fortune 500 means? Those are the kind of cryptos you need to be investing in that are partnered with Fortune 500 companies. Other than that, you're sort of bottom feeding. Now, well, how does that have to do with Ripple and the R3? First of all, we don't know if Ripple's back with R3, but if they are, bang, 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 bang. Ho, oh, ho, ho. That's the whole reason I bought them in the first place. and But I want to say this. Is that, okay, Ripple just came out with X Rapid a month ago. Now, they do have a bunch of banks that are going to use it. Now, the question is, is it going to work? And is it going to save money for these banks? If XRPs save money for the, uh, in other words, this Japanese experiment, it's an experiment. This Japanese thing, it's an experiment. Japan is one little country. That ain't going to do fuck all for your ripples, buddy. So grill the fuck up. But it is a test case. In other words, it's like a, like a, yeah, like a little laboratory. Everyone's going to be looking to see how those banks fared by using this X Rapid thing. Yo, look, moving money from one place to another in two to four seconds. That's razzle-dazzle for you motherfuckers. <laughs> That's bullshit. Banks already know. Businesses do business in, uh, you know, 30 to 90 days. <laughs> you don't need to have your money there in two to five seconds. That's nonsense. And plus, other uh, things already can move money within, you know, 15 minutes, half an hour and stuff. Like, it's not about the moving of the money. It's about the frictionless, right? The frictionlessness of it was what XRP is going to do. In other words... It, one bank gets it and then the other bank gets the money. Yeah, all these intermediate guys, that's what makes your money take three to five days. 
this clearinghouse, that clearinghouse, this guy, that guy. So first of all, this clearinghouse, that clearinghouse. Then if you go across the border, well, now you got to go to that clearinghouse, that clearinghouse, and then your money gets there. That's what takes three to five days. Ripple is just going to wipe that shit out and just get you there. But there's a lot of other projects that are doing that exact same thing. <clears throat> so but what makes it so it's not about the speed of the money that gets there. What's going to give Ripple its value? Will it save the bank's money? And this Japanese thing is a great incubator. Is a great uh, incubator. Do you know what that means? It's a great test case. All eyes are going to be on Japan for the next six months and watching those Japanese banks and asking those banks, hey, man, how'd that Ripple do you? I mean, what do you think these institutional guys, that's all they do. They just ask, yo, how's that working? Right? Why do I tell you to buy V-Chain and IOTA? Yeah, well, they're, they're partnered with major multinational corporations, you idiots. When they get here, they're just going to ask IBM, yo, how's that IOTA? IBM is going to be like, it's the shit. Bang, they're going to buy. When they get here, they're going to ask Microsoft, yo, how's that V-Chain going? Or, or that second shipping company in the world. They're going to be like, yeah, VeChain saved us blah, blah, blah money. That's why they're going to buy. And that's what we need to see with Ripple. If Ripple, because this is their chance. This is their test case. This is the laboratory. Everyone was talking about Ripple. Ripple's going to do this, going to do that. Y'all got lied to, just like me. Ripple just came out. XRP, uh, X Rapid just came out. Nobody knows how it's going to go. Now, here it is. This is the first test case. Japanese financial giant SBI is going to use, bang, XRP. And that's what I care about, XRP. It's, I don't really care about the R3 part unless Ripple's part of R3. Other than that, Ripple is just servicing banks that are part of R3, but they're not part of it themselves. And and so now, let me tell you about what I talked to Desert Garden about. Well, Shamari, man, someone asked me something the other day like, well, if they don't use XRPs, then XR, uh, ripples aren't going to be valuable. <sighs> man, this is a hard one. This is a tough one. And this is what I want to tell you. And I've told you guys this, you who have been here for a while, I've told you. These are just securities. These are stocks. These, let me go here even. All this shit is stocks. All of these are stocks, all right? Sure, 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 with Tron, you can transfer them here and there, and you can buy this or that, but it's just a, a share in the Tron ecosystem, right? When you buy Stellar or whatever, it's a share in the Stellar ecosystem. Uh, right? And so, as long as, and so what I'm trying to say is this. Here's a question. I don't have the answer to this, so I don't have the answer, but I'm sort of speculating. As long as Ripple is being used by stuff, as long as Stellar is being used by stuff, doesn't it go up in value? So I guess what I'm saying is, well, uh, let, me, let me clarify. Ripple is different because they're one company called Ripple Labs, but then they have this XRP token, but which is a separate whole entity. Right, And you can look at, well, as long as Ripple Labs does good, well, I'll just keep buying these tokens of it as a representation of how I feel about the success of Ripple Labs. Right, Whereas all the other tokens, well, they are part of it. Stellar, when you buy a Stellar, yeah, you're buying Stellar, the company. Ripple's always saying, no, 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 they're not part of us. It's just a separate thing. And... That might be the problem for them. That might be the problem for them. Because I think when these institutional investors get here, they're going to be like me. I look at these as just shares. When I buy a V-Chain, V4, whatever the fuck, it's just a share in V-Chain. I believe it's going to work. When I buy an IOTA, yeah, it's a share in IOTA. That's all. You know, I buy a Tron. Yeah, that's just a share in Tron. You know, oh, you could do all this shit with it. Nah, I don't give a fuck about doing all that shit with that. That's not what I'm here for. That's for the children. You guys play with your little trons. I'm here for the bang, 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 just to accumulate them and have the big boys come and buy them from me, right? And I believe that. So, well, I don't believe that. But what I'm saying is here's food for thought. 
even though Ripple might not get X rapid used, and we will see from this Japanese, let's look at it again, from this Japanese um, thing right here. Whoops, where is it? Bang. So we're going to get a, uh, you know, we're going to get the answer. These banks are going to use Ripples, and that's it. Did they save the bank's money or not? Did they do what they're supposed to do or not? Now we're finally going to get our answer. So I'm going to wait around and wait to see the answer. And uh, so good news for everybody, though. It is that the good news is that ripples are being used. That SBI said ripples. SBI said ripples are being used for fuck's sakes. But what's the best thing is that this. But let's see if they're together again. If they're together again, well, don't worry about it. Just buy more ripples. <laughs> but if not, hold on. All right, brothers. Bang. I've talked enough about that. Woo. Bang, bang, bang. Morgan Stanley, institutional investment class. What are we waiting for, brothers? Bang. Institutional investors. I have an article. I'm going to read it to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> and it just says it. You know, look, look. Unless these institutional guys get here, you can fucking forget about all your shit buying you Lambos. There ain't going to be no Lambos without institutional investment. I tell you that right now. That old lady buying one Bitcoin over there ain't going to help you. Hmm. But the beauty for us is that, well, bang, bang, bang. The institutional investors are on the way. Bang, bang, bang. And look, look, look. We're going to milk those fuckers. Oh, yeah. They're going to pay a nice premium. They're going to pay a nice premium to get our goods, boys. Bye. So let me show you this shit. A new report published by American Multinational investment bank morgan stanley has redefined not national multinational investment bank morgan stanley has redefined cryptocurrency as an institutional investment class bang 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 the report was initiated after research revealed that current trading trends are flowing towards institutional investors who are increasingly wanting to invest in cryptocurrencies so much so that morgan stanley has had its eyes firmly set on institutional investor potential for some months. Look, they're not stupid. What have I been telling you motherfuckers since the beginning of this shit? This is it. All the retail money, this is it. It ain't going any higher. That whole sh shoot up last week, uh, last year, 2017, when motherfuckers were mortgaging their homes to buy Bitcoins, weak hands, and they got suckered, weak hands. But that's why my warehouse is big now, because I bought all those weak hands goods, and so did you. And look, 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 there are no more we can. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get another blood red day. So now we got to face bang, bang, bang. Welcome to the party, boys. Welcome to the battle. Now we're the real boys. And that's why prices are stable. Yeah, why are they stable? Yeah, because they're doing over-the-counter sales behind the scenes. All right, I explained to you what over-the-counter is. They're buying directly from miners. Fuck Binance. Uh, I want to buy 10,000 10, Bitcoins. I can't buy them off Binance. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. I can buy them directly from the miner. In the over-the-counter market, like I told you, get Investopedia, guys. And if you don't understand something I say, go there and learn it. Over-the-counter, OTC markets. You buy direct. If I want to buy a million Microsoft shares, I can't go to E-Trade. There's not a million shares available right there. I have to go to over the counter. So I have to go to our o OTC broker. The broker go gets me my shit and I get my shit. And we negotiate price. It's not like out here on the exchanges where the price is just the price, buy it or not. No, no, no. When you're an OTC motherfucker, you get to be like, yo, yo, yo. I'll buy this many off you for this much. Dudes can say they'll take it or not, right? It's more of a <laughs> negotiation. Whereas for us, when we're on exchanges, well, we don't get to negotiate. It's, yo, you know, that's how much your Monero costs, motherfucker. Buy it or don't. You know? <laughs> All right. Luck, 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 brothers. What else did they say? What? What 
happened to my screen. Oh, there they are. Okay. So, this led to rumors recently that the bank was intending to follow in the footsteps of some other Wall Street financial institutions offering crypto-related services by deleting contracts that gave investors ah, synthetic exposure to the performance of Bitcoin derivatives. And that doesn't help us. Still unconfirmed, but, well, that's not true. Still unconfirmed, but if the rumors turn out to have substance, then investors will be given the option to go long or short using what is described as price return swap. Lots of swaps, credit default swaps, uh, interest rate swaps. Fuck, read about swaps. Oh, I just told you, go to Investopedia, boys. Read about swaps. Uh, so with Morgan Stanley adding its own charge to each transaction that it facilitates, they're going to add a fee. It is a little surprise then that the New York financial giant has chosen this time to re-examine the way it looks at cryptocurrency. The new report titled Bitcoin Decrypted, A Brief Teach-In and Implications updated the classification of digital assets based on statistics for the last six months. Bang! The report also examines problems reported by customers in relation to crypto as an investment class. And this is the problem. Regulatory uncertainty. That's what we need. We need some fucking certainty here. We need these fucking politicians and these fucking regulators to fucking decide what the fuck shit's going to be. Lock, lock. Fuck shit, damn. All right? What is it? Lack of regulation. Ooh. These are... Oh my gosh, if we could just get regulation, it's game on. Game on. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum. All right, it's game on for those four. All the rest of our stuff. All the rest of your stuff is in jeopardy. You do know that, right? You do know that. I don't want to scare people, but fuck. Well, I don't give a fuck. Anyways, look. These either American standing would like to address if it is seriously deciding on targeting institutional cryptocurrency investors. They need regulatory certainty. Right? When you have a five billion dollars to invest, you have to know what the taxes are gonna be. Is this currency cryptocurrency, whatever, like I look like a stock, is it is it what is it gonna be taxed at? Capital gains tax or property tax? This crypto I'm buying is it an is it a is it a commodity or a security? Like all of these little techie little details of the markets, man, matter. Fuck, and that's why we need these guys to see. And that's what we love about the Brits, my British brothers. Your guys are kicking ass. Same with over there in Europe. Your politicians are talking about shit. Like your politicians are regulating crap. Over here in America, our politicians are holding hearings. Remember the Nuriel Rabini hearing I showed you guys? Yeah, a hearing. A fucking hearing. Fuck a hearing, man. We need laws. <laughs> you know, rules, regs. Damn, bros. All right, the, the rocket fuel's getting me a little upset now. <laughs> well, it's not the rocket fuel. I'm a happy rocket fueler. It's the situation that's making me angry. So let me hurry up and get this over with and bang, bang. So, Stanley would like to address it if seriously declining, uh, wait, oh, deciding, oh, my back just itched, on targeting institutional cryptocurrency investors with a view of, of offering clients the chance to trade in Bitcoin derivatives, as it hinted in the past, look, 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 brothers, 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 you got to get your Bitcoin, your Litecoin, your Ethereum, and your Bit. I don't know about Bitcoin Cash, but your Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, you better get that shit, dogs. That's guaranteed. I know, I know. Yeah, man, but I can get these trons for a penny. It's true. And that'll make you shit tons. So, I mean, it just depends on <laughs> where you hope the math goes with it all. But, I mean, damn, if you want guaranteed and you have the money to do it. I told you, I'm going. I'm doing my large cap this month. What? Four more days. 11-6. Today's 11-2. 11-6. Bang. Grabbing a Bitcoin. Bang. Grabbing a bunch of Ethereum. Bang. Whole bag of Litecoin. Because that's what's going to be the first to go. And then all of our other V-chains and all that's going to go. On a positive note for the bank, if this is to be their direction moving forward, is the report's mention of Fidelity's new crypto service division, Coinbase's fundraising round, and positive regulatory development. The report also knows that institutional investors' confidence is rising 
at the expense of retail investments, which has all but come to a standstill. Exactly. There ain't no more money here, folks. You and I, retail investors, we're tapped out. This is it. The global retail market, I don't care what country you're in. It's over. This is it. The, the, the amount of money you have in crypto now, if these institutional guys don't get here, that's what you're going to end up with. <laughs> but don't worry. The institutional guys are coming. Bang, bang. And they're going to flood this place with a tsunami of money, which is going to drive it up once again. And that is when you're going to cash out and be rich. You will be rich. Bang. As long as you're not a weak hand. No weak hands around these parts. Bang. All right. The report also notes that institutional investors' confidence is rising. Did we already say that? Yep. The report states that institutional investors have gained full confidence. In other words, it's game on. Institutional investors have gained full confidence. It's not like back in the days. What is this shit? What are these little crypto nerds doing? No, no, no. Oh, this is real now. Now they have full confidence. And that's why you build custody service. <laughs> that's why you apply for ETFs. Full confidence. All right, brothers. Bang. Exchange traded fund is an ETF. Luck, luck, luck. Bang. Let's get to shout outs and airdrops for our brothers. Now, nah, what do we got here? Shout outs. Amos. Ermos K. Cryptocurrency enthusiast in 2012. Top 50 writer in finance. Investing in Bitcoin on Medium. Oh, aren't you a smart dude? Well, thank you for, is he following me? I don't know. But bang. Thanks for being here, buddy. Bang. What do we got here? That's this dude, Stephen Holt. Bang. See you, brother. Who's this one? Don B. Bang. See you, brother. Man. Actually, there's not been much action. Oh, this son of a bitch right here. Look, look, look. Bang. Oh. And he got... Bang, bang, bang. That's how he rolls. That's our brother right there. Airdropper. I can't disclose his real name. It's classified. That's, cla <laughs> That's classified information. Son of a bitch. If you know why I yell at a son of a bitch, well, you know what his name is now. Bang, Bitcoin Field, I see you. Bob, bang the master. It's the airdrop master. Look, 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 look. You want some coins? We'll get some free coins from Bob at 844 on Twitter. Bang. Read the first three tutorials. Look, look, look. Can't go wrong there. Can't go wrong there. All right. See, and Bob's retweeting my stuff. Come on, brothers. Retweet the goods. It's like a big blast of advertising. Let's let these people learn. You know, we can't keep all this crypto ourselves. Herald Trader, bang, I saw you yesterday. All right, so it looks like we're, oh, October 31st. Oh, okay, so we're done. All right, so that's it. Well, all right then. All right, let's go here. Bang, oh, look at my ugly mug. Look at my ugly face. <laughs> luck, luck, brothers. So we had a good good show tonight. NASDAQ, that use case tool is huge. Uh, if they can stop the complaining and whining, the yap, yap, yap from the politicians because they have a tool that'll do everything, the algorithms and everything, bang, we're good to go. Ripple. Hi, Ripple lovers. Hope you loved that one. A lot to think about, though. A lot to think about. Are they with our three? Right? SBI is going to use their X Rapid. That's just a test case. Is it going to work? Is it going to work so much that other major banking systems, remember, uh, R3 is a consortium, Hyperledger is a consortium, and they're all coming out with attacks on SWIFT to move money. Is this Ripple thing here with SBI going to be enough to prove that it's worth taking the jump? Bang, let's see. And look, look, Morgan Stanley. All right, all these bullshitters, all these major players. Yeah, Ripple's a Ponzi scheme. Or sorry, Bitcoin's a Ponzi scheme. Well, you're sure getting into it now, aren't you, motherfucker? <laughs> so luck, luck, luck. Brothers, let's chill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Put down the smoke and do what we do. Bang.
All right. Please subscribe below, press the button, and and you will have uh you get instant updates. And that's it, guys. Guys, look, 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 look. My name is Shamari Clark. I love doing this for you. I love doing it every day. I love talking money. And well, lucky for you, I have money and I bought built a studio and I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> so here we go. So bang, 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 brothers. Subscribe below if you're new. Press the bell and look, look, my name is Shamari Clark. I'm always watching. I'm always vigilant. I'm an 18 year trader in the Forex market. That's how I make my living. I don't have a nine to five job. I'm not a worker bee like you. Go to forexfactory.com, type in my name in the top right hand corner, S-H-O-M-A-R-I. Bang, go down to the middle of the left and look at this thing called images, the middle on the left in my profile. Bang, those are all some old trades. But those are all old trades. Exactly. That shows you how long I've been doing it. I'm not a YouTuber who goes to 9 to 5 job and then comes back and tries to tell you how to actually make money. If you knew how to fucking make money, why is he a 9 to 5 worker be? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. You're in good hands right here, all right? So look, 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 look. My name is Shamari Clark, and I'm telling you, yo, I'm watching. I got my money up in this bitch. Bang. My warehouse is big. My warehouse is huge. And I'm watching my money, and I'm going to watch your money for you as well. Well, I mean, you got to decide what you're going to buy and how much of it. But I do give you my opinion. I owe to V Chain Tron. Bang, I mean, I'm just saying, just saying. <laughs> lock, lock, lock. Hint, hint, hint. Bang, my name is Shamari Clark. I love you guys. Bang, always on duty. Bang, over and out.